All right, Jen Obvious back with another one. So this one, we are going to show you how to toggle an animation. So we already made the animation for the frog. It was floating around. We did that in the previous video. So what we're going to do is we're going to make it so when somebody clicks this toggle button, this frog is going to start floating up and do its thing. So we got to select our frog first. What you're going to need to do is, uh, if you haven't unpacked it already on your model, go down and there should be uh, an unpack prefab completely. So un unpack it completely. Um, on your frog, you want to duplicate. You're going to duplicate the frog, and that's got the animation on it. And we're going to name that uh, frog with animation. All right. Now our original frog still has the animation on it. You want to remove the animator. Click remove component. That way the frog will be sitting there when you spawn in and it won't automatically activate on awake and be floating in the air. All right. So no animation on the on the original frog. We still have it down here on this frog with animation. Okay? Go back to your toggle button. You'll notice we still have the Udon behavior from before. Remove this component. We're going to have to redo our script. All right, add component, Udon. On behavior, you're going to want new program. Open Udon graft. Now the uh, activation uh, comes up with annoying messages there. The activation for um, the frog with animation. This is the one we want to trigger. Okay, so we are going to click and drag that in here as a variable. And we will go through our process of creating nodes, event, interact, game object. And we want set active, boolean, negation, and we need another game object, get active self. All right, so let's connect the noodles. Instance to there this to there all right so we got that part done now we need the original frog which is up here we're going to put that into our udon graph because we need to turn that off when the animation starts playing so let's go back to our udon graph on our toggle and slide that over here. We are going to need that frog. So we're going to drag that frog into here. And we're going to do another game object. Uh, set active. Boolean. Location. And get active self. So. Yeah, just so. All right, so we're going to toggle this old frog, the original frog, off. So we're going to need to connect the noodles, connect that on through. Not to there, not to there, and there. All right, so what's going to happen is when we click this toggle, oh, and make sure, double check down here that the correct stuff is here uh, the two variables the frog with animation yes and the original frog right up here uh, we'll click um, use frog floating alright so when they click the toggle button the frog is going to start floating up in the air let's see if it works oh one more thing before we uh, hit play here 
go down to your frog with the animation, the one that, that's going to be floating in the air, and we need to turn that off because you do not want that to be going on when you log into the world. Not until you click that toggle button. All right, now let's hit play. And our frog is right there on the floor. Big frog. Toggle button. And there he goes. Floating off in the air. <laughs> and back to normal. Float. And that's how you make a toggle animation. Now it is local. So uh, to make a global synced animation i'll have to do that on a future video oh hey guys before i go i wanted to let you know if um if you want to create multiple objects to occur when your animation like we already got the floating up but if you wanted to add like audio you could just go to game object audio source put your audio in there do your thing on that and then um you would create a, a parent a game object create empty and we name this uh, all animation and then you would place like here's the frog with the animation and the audio source I'm just hitting control to select two of those and just click and drag it down into the parent that way you you can trigger all of them but you will have to redo the script you'll have to remove this and redo the script in order for this new created empty um, to be in your graph to uh, to update and follow along what we did in the video so uh, that's just a side note on that if you want to create more than one thing uh, just create an empty and these will be the children and you can toggle the all animation on and off okay all right great thanks guys See you on the next one.